five thirty two. So we circulated minutes from our last meeting on November, what was it, 5th? It was November the 5th. And uh, I think everybody had an opportunity to review those. Any mm -hmm. corrections or uh, changes to, to the minutes? If not, take I, I, I'm not going to say a thing. <laughs> you can vote on the minutes even if you weren't here. <laughs> take a motion to approve the minutes. Move to approve. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Second. seconds. All those in favor? Aye. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so as we, we started to talk about, uh, so the, the budget process for uh, fiscal 20 is underway. Um, I was able to give the spreadsheet to Liz uh, last Thursday, and she printed off the, the um, request sheets mm -hmm. that we did last year. Uh, so as we discussed last month, she's going to be, you know, taking over a lot of that stuff for us, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the uh, the letter that she sent out. I'll just pass it around. There's nothing for us to discuss, but and, and then these are the forms that you know you've seen before. But so those mm -hmm. are the examples uh, that the uh, yep. spreadsheet you know ran very well for us. So. Uh, huh. January 8th, huh? Yeah, she's, she wants to get it in yeah. a little bit earlier get a this year. So. Capital improvements, yeah. Yep. So, that's just kind of an FYI. I uh, chatted a little bit with the uh, new fire chief at the pancake breakfast. Yeah, that looked like it was pretty well attended. Yes, it was. Yes. A, lot of, a lot of cars in the parking lot. Yeah. Um, one thing, so I, I mean, we we'll don't have to discuss it tonight, but I think one thing we will need to consider as a committee is uh, our budget has been at fifteen hundred dollars forever. Mm -hmm. um, last year we actually exceeded it. We needed to get a, a reserve fund transfer because printing costs and such had, had increased. So mm -hmm. you know, I think we'll have to put ourselves in for a little bit of a bump up this year. Okay. What do we pay for printing the warrants and stuff? Is it or yeah, uh, we get it done down at the jail. Yeah, I know. Um, they, but their prices went up. Well, it wasn't. I, I think we had more pages last year ah. because of the bylaw changes. You know, there was a lot oh, of there was a lot, there, was a lot of extra stuff. Yeah. So, so it may very well be this year. You know, it may go back down to being a little bit less. But yeah. because we had, I think, four extra pages times, right. you know, fifteen hundred or so. Um, Understood. You know, copies. It, it adds up. So, mm -hmm. so that's where that went to. If, I mean, if you really want to know, I can I can probably pull up the invoice here somewhere. Does she tell me? If you give me an hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> and call that guy back in. <laughs> so anyway, um, okay. So I, you know, again, I think what, you know once it comes time to, mm -hmm. we might want to bump that up a little bit. So. Um, Next, I, uh, we have some reserve fund transfers. Uh, again, nothing on the uh, unemployment. Mm. So I don't know what to make of that. I was expecting it to at least to come around again by now because we only voted for, I think, about a six-week mm -hmm. coverage. So, um, mm. But Liz said she, she was here last month. She said she was going to check into it, I think. So and I never heard from... Either her or Barbara, so I'm, you know, there's nothing for us to vote on. So I haven't seen the recipient since September. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he's moved on somewhere. Who knows? I mean, that would be good for him. Uh, well, the, the, prior to being a chief, he he, he was a uh, independent contractor as a painter. Yeah. Yes, so. that's what I had heard. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, you know, who knows? Um, what was it? So the only one we have in front of us is is the same one that we talked about last month, uh, the cemetery uh, fund. So it's the same discussion. There was there's a line that we have in there for um, just cemetery expenses. Um, we had created a line for cemetery labor. And uh, according to Barbara, because um, if you recall last month, we, we decided that the expense that they were submitting to us should come out of a labor account instead of out of a general, um, you know, maintenance type account. Um, 
she said that it couldn't come out of the labor account because labor accounts are tied to taxes or something like that. I, I'm not entirely certain what. Uh, so here's this is this is her her response. Uh, this is on an email that she sent back. We've never paid a vendor out of a labor line. That vendor has always been done on a vendor check. I have no way through the payroll system to have backup in order to pr to prove or print that we paid a vendor. Nor are we supposed to take out taxes done through the payroll on a vendor who is responsible for his own taxes. Um, I was always under the impression from Barbara that any of the, the budget lines that we create were basically for our purposes and had nothing to do with mm. the accounts that mm -hmm. they're linked to. So um, I don't know what your thoughts are on this. I, I'll open it up for discussion. I don't know if... So she's, yeah. she's basically looking to get this... You know, it, it's the way it's always been done, therefore mm -hmm. we need to do it that way. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, $650, right? Right. Pay payroll is, is uh, does have withholdings. Right. Where a vendor, not necessarily, because they're, they're, res they're responsible for their own. But you should be able to cut a payroll check or a vendor check out of a cash account, and your offset is that. Like, whatever line item we choose. Right. right. That's I. That's my way of thinking. You know, the the line item that we establish in the budget is just for our purposes, not necessarily for hers. She can link that line item to whatever you know a cash account line she Once. deems necessary. Now, maybe she linked that particular one to maybe in her software when she when she you know processes payments mm -hmm. it automatically withholds taxes Probably and that's does, guessing yeah. what I I mean I'm guessing that's what that is mm -hmm. um, so I don't know I st still feel as though we established the labor line so we could get a handle on labor costs going forward we right. we tried to predict it and put the right amount of money in there mm -hmm. um, <laughs> So I'm tempted to say if the superintendent wants to blow his whole budget on, you know, getting the cemetery trimmed once, that's that's up to him. But now he's got to figure it out between now and July. But I think we need to find out whether or not she can get her software fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Right. I, I, I mean, I you know I don't want to make it difficult for Barbara no. certainly, yeah. no. but I I think. We need, as a committee, to be able to track labor efficiently, and, and this doesn't yeah. seem like it would do that. Mm -mm. So I think we need to find out whether or not she can get that adjusted. And if she can't, then maybe she can... I don't know what her budget is. I don't know what her updates or software updates are. I have no clue. Yeah. Um, I she running uh, I have no Excel idea. too? Or? I don't know what she's running. No. Oh no, she's she has archaic. No idea what she's got for software for payroll. But she loves it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So um, again, she's asking for a transfer of three hundred thirty-seven dollars. We can table it for further discussion. We can approve it. You know, because obviously she needs to pay the bill um, and try to get it resolved by whenever. I don't know. I don't know. What, what are the thoughts? Will it resurface? Is is the are they using this vendor? Well, over it's not going. It's not going to go away. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> this I don't is going to be. That, we, we can put it on if, our monthly if agenda. That one, if that one goes, will there be another? I don't know how no. often they get this done. I don't. I don't recall. Uh, but again, we didn't have the highway line, uh, the, the excuse me, the cemetery labor line. This is the first year we've yeah. actually had that line yeah. in the budget for our purposes. Yeah. So I assume they've been, I mean, she made it sound like this vendor has done this probably annually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, you know, I, uh, we haven't had to deal with it yet. I mean, I think a good question would be, are there others? Mm -hmm. Is this happening? 
in right so are we gonna are we gonna have this problem yeah. two months from now with yeah. a different vendor yes that's yeah. that's um, yeah and because we did the same thing with well, I guess the other ones already had labor, but we added a labor line somewhere else too. So are we gonna have the same problem with a different department? Mm -hmm. So, okay. Um, well, they need money. Right, right. And we need vendors to stay. <laughs> That's true also. I, I mean, I'm in favor of paying the guy. Well, yeah, yeah. And then is there a way for us to clean up the bookkeeping for it after? Well, the other thing, the other, you know, cause I did ask if we, you know, couldn't we, because our intent was to pay for this out of the labor line, could we then at some point transfer the $650 from the labor line back into the general cemetery line, but we would, couldn't do that until special town meeting. Right. So yes, we could do that. Mm -hmm. Our regular town meeting, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. but, at, that, but at that point, Right. What's the point? Sort right. of, you know. I mean, we could do that to make ourselves feel better, but uh, which nothing wrong with that either. But mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think we need to pay it maybe now and then try to figure out a long-term solution. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. I agree too. Move to pay the vendor the amount of three hundred thirteen dollars. Yep. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nice have it. Okay. Thank you for that. And that's number? That is uh, line number 320, 320 from line, was it 800, reserve fund? And I will follow up with Barbara um, to see if, if or what we can do to prevent this going forward. Sign on the bottom, please. Yeesh, I've been signed pen. So then the uh, the remaining item that we had on the agenda today was to discuss the uh, capital expense plan, which for some reason we never did last year. <laughs> uh, so anyway, several, a couple years ago, Last time Marilyn was around, keeping this all in line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we had uh, there was a grant from the uh, I'm trying to blank UMass Boston the somebody Collins Group Collins, Collins Center Collins Center Collins Center Thank you. Uh, so they so they worked with us. There was a consultant that worked with us preparing a capital expense uh, plan, a five-year plan. Uh, it's one of our duties as a finance committee is to update the plan. Um, uh, it, we just never did it last year, so we have to play a little catch-up this year. So what I thought we would do today is at least go over the documents that we have. Uh, from a couple of years ago when the Collins Center helped us create the plan. We can look and see, you know, where we stand and then, uh, you know, I think we need to get Barbara in here because we need to get some funding mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll, you know, speak to her about coming in uh, for our January meeting and I think it would help to have Liz involved as well. But I at least wanted to get us sort of grounded on where we stand now and then we can sort of, uh, you know, figure out a plan. So this is the, uh, you take one of those please, that's that's the current list of projects that were out there. Uh, so the way it works, um, the each department uh, submits a request for a capital item and a, it's assigned a priority by the department and then it's also that priority is either uh, kept or adjusted by the selectmen and by us petite. to see where it it falls so certain items are, are you know come up every few years such as the ambulance uh, you know or vehicles for the for the highway department that sort of thing bless you thank you um, 
and then other items come up just as a, you know one time expense like the police station for example mm -hmm. so um, so the, this really came into play partly because of the police station and at the time you know the fire station was also under discussion is still under discussion yes. uh, so we were trying to figure out where all of those things uh, come into play so again each each department can come up with a form. It goes out with the budget forms. Uh, so you know this is this went out with with this year's submission as well. So if there's anything in there that uh, requires a capital outlay, um, you know the department heads should be getting back to that. I think last year with um, with the turnover and with Liz starting and and you know all the other stuff going on with the the, the chief and and all that, I, it just it honestly just slipped my mind. Um, oh, it's, they have the. Uh, I think we're the, just happy to pay the bills. So. The additional fan for CLA that was proposed. Well, that was propo slip in there. Right. So that's actually that's actually what what triggered yeah. me to remember that we needed to do this yeah. is because you know when we when we talked about that last year and we said that it really should be a capital expense. Uh, if you look, that is on here. It's yes. about uh, uh, about. A third of the way down, I guess. So they, so that is budgeted not for this coming fiscal year, but for next year, fiscal 21, at an amount of forty thousand dollars. So, um, so what I think we want to do is, is we'll go through here and just look at. Let's go down the list of projects, and some of them should have already been done because we've got fiscal 18 is already passed, of course, and then and then we're working on 19 currently, or we're in 19 currently. So those should have been addressed or budgeted last year. Some of them were not, so I think we need to sort of take a look at those things. So, starting at the top, uh, garage facility addition uh, for the highway department was budgeted for this coming year, the year we're planning, for $100,000. Now that we have a new highway superintendent, I just think we'll need to confirm that with him, see if that still, you know, is a need of theirs, and uh, and if that seems like that's it's a priority, or if it's something that can be delayed or whatever. And it'll be interesting to see. And again, I think you know Liz will certainly work on that with us um, to see if if that's appropriate for them to request that amount. Maybe the amount has gone up, or maybe it's gone down since then. <coughs> Next item down, also for the highway department, uh, fifty thousand dollars for land abutting the transfer station uh, for possible future expansion of the transfer station. Uh, you can see that was uh, assigned a priority five, low priority, mm -hmm. um, and it was pushed off as far out as possible at mm -hmm. the time of this this plan. So, uh, you know, again, I think that's just kind of an estimate. It's sort of a placeholder. It would be nice to have. Mm -hmm. It's certainly not a uh, you know burning priority. Mm -hmm. The police station obviously is under progress. Yeah, so that and that was was taken care of. Uh, Dennett water filtration, same thing. Uh, that was that was budgeted and taken care of. Although I think the amount changed. The next one from the school committee: the playground safety and modernization uh, was budgeted for twenty-five thousand in this upcoming fiscal year. And then an additional one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. That was, I believe, because we were going to be. I have the explanation here somewhere. I'm trying to remember what I read in the newspaper this week. About that? About, about that? the playground. Yeah. Well, I just got an email about the CPC getting that as a proposed project. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was really talking see, about. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that would obviously affect our yeah, they would yeah. Affect contributions that. here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I don't see it. I thought it was there's something on here that said it was going to be bonded. Kids should be kept in the classroom and beaten. Oh, that was when I was in school. <laughs> okay. So again, so you know, depending on how that that plays out, we'll, right. you know, that may or may not come into consideration for this. We may have to consider a portion of that for this coming fiscal year, and and again, see. Um, yeah, see what CPC is up to. 
Right, you know, right, that. right. It was a matter of choosing projects, choosing what project you wanted. There was two projects. Right, right. There was that. Is and that what the email was that I got today, too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got it. I got it too. I, yeah, I got from, it. Uh, okay, it wasn't newspaper, it was the email. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was that or something. Yeah. All right, hang on, I got it right in front of me. Okay, okay. what's it say? <laughs> I don't know. Let me open it. Oh, it was um, to pay contractors for help with the Two Brook Preserve property. Oh, yeah. Two, uh, two, there were two properties they were talking yes. about, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's good because I can't open this for some reason. I'm not just sign into the internet. I'm not having a good technical day here. <laughs> huh? It says, "Please see the below email," but then there's no below email. Hmm. From Tara. No attachment. No, was it really an attachment? Not that I can see. No, 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 it was kind of scrolled down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it just says, "Direct any all comments to." No, that's all right. No big deal. Well, anyway, we know we have yeah, to we check know we into it. Yeah, we know Right, so. exactly. We've got to look at it. Okay, so then, so those are, so those would be, uh, those four or five projects would be considered, we would have to um, fund them with debt. Um, and, and so that's why they're at the top section. Then as the pay as you go, as, as you can see, is uh, kind of as it sounds, we would pay for it with each particular year's uh, appropriations. Um, complete re-roofing of the townhouse, we did not pay for that. We did not, mm -mm. that did not come up at all this year. So, uh, Priority three. Yeah, and, and, and I forget why. It was not listed as a immediate need any longer. I know it's still, so we need to follow up with that one. See where that stands. Upgrade IT server for fiscal 21, $10,000. I think that's just kind of a, it's a life expectancy of the, of the equipment. So they put that out there. The van we've already talked about. Again, for 21, we know that they are looking for it because mm -hmm. um, they're looking for a second van. They want they want to have a, a fleet. How many drivers? One. One driver in Jim. two vehicles. One with each hand, apparently. Oh. Yeah, he's good. He's good. So, well, obviously, they would want to hire a second driver too. I yeah, so. kind of wondered if I going to get a driverless van. Oh God, <laughs> it's a little early for that, yeah. I think. Yeah. The technology is is a is Google, Google, yes. Google van. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, that'll probably come up for discussion when they come in to make their budget presentation. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we'll need to see if they're still, you know, targeting that. I know the feeling of. Uh, I shouldn't speak for her, but I'm pretty sure the feeling of Liz is that is that there's no need for two vans. If they need to upgrade the current vehicle because right. it's not meeting certain safety standards or uh, access, you know, accessibility right. requirements, that sort of thing, absolutely, that's that's a different story. But as far as getting a second vehicle, I don't think we're uh, necessarily looking to do that. Uh, Dennett phone system replacement. I thought we did that last year, didn't we not? It sounds, sounds familiar. Dead. I thought we Dennett did. Then the phone system, we paid thirty-one thousand dollars for that last year mm -hmm. from free cash, so that has been taken care of. Yay us! Mm -hmm. uh, fire equipment, gear. Um, this goes back to uh, several years ago when uh, they were saying that their their gear was hopelessly outdated, and they were looking to completely turn it over and we budgeted that over a five-year period however there was always some question as to whether the amount was being quoted correctly so um, we budgeted 30,000 as you can see last year for example we, we we authorized 15 so I think we'll again we'll need to verify with the new chief uh, mm -hmm. for, for budgeting purposes uh, whether 30,000 is the is the the amount that we need to be thinking about or is there an adjustment one way or the other? Uh, the next two are just, again, I think items that crop up periodically as equipment gets old, a new dump truck with plow, and a new pickup truck. 
Uh, the pickup truck is the one that's coming up this coming mm -hmm. fiscal year, uh, $40,000. And then the, the dump with a plow is, is uh, two years out still. So again, you know, looking at that. Road paving was an item that we always sort of, I don't want to say played around with, but we, we sort of used it as, a, as a, a line that we could balance the rest of the budget off of. Whatever, was, whatever we could put towards that, we would. Um, and, and, and it got adjusted up or down depending on how things were going. Um, I thought a lot of that uh, paving, which is considered maintenance, came out of that cherry sheet. Yeah, if you look yeah. down the bottom of this sheet, it's, it's listed under the grant yeah. funded. So so we have uh, that number down there, $171,000 and change, uh, is uh, no doubt has changed a little bit since then. That was that was the, the amount that fiscal year when the plan was developed. Right. So we just carried it forward, uh, assuming that it would stay roughly the same. It's rough, all right. <laughs> mm. <laughs> a lot of rough roads. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, so. Uh, the comment from the uh, from the consultant was that um, this is the line that she used to balance out the budget every year. So that's why it goes up and down. Mm -hmm. Because road paving, while nice, is something you can delay. Yeah. Yeah. Much to the chagrin of everybody, mm -hmm. but. Uh, so. We still have unpaved roads at Plumpton. No, the but yeah, but see, we did we did authorize two hundred fifty thousand dollars last year from free cash for road construction. So we ignored our own. <laughs> And I believe the twenty-five thousand for the next twenty, the school driveway parking lot improvement was part of that two fifty that we uh, we authorized last year. Uh, I'm not going to go back to twenty eighteen. Telephone system for the police department, generator for the police department, new police station. Those are all rolled into the new police station. So, and uh, those are all Oops. have already been addressed. So I think. If you look at 2020, where we where we are planning for this year, there's really only what five projects that we're we're talking about that we're trying to budget for. Now I know there's a big one that we haven't really gotten any information on yet. It's the school roof. So um, that is going to come up for discussion, and we'll need to figure that out somehow and, and figure this into our plan. Uh, obviously, it's a big going to be a big ticket item um, but there's some question as to whether we can get some state funds or not uh, speaking with Liz there was a question as to whether the existing roof would be considered I'm just throwing out numbers I'm not exactly sure the exact ones whether it would be considered 15 years old or whether it would be considered 12 years old because it was in it there was a addition or, or yeah. something several years ago mm -hmm. prior to me coming to town I don't know exactly when it was done but depending on how the state looks at the life of the roof, it may or may not qualify for school matching mm -hmm. funds. So that's as much as I know at this point, um, but it's, you know, it's, it's a hefty bill that we're yeah. going to have to figure out. So yeah. obviously if we can figure out a way to get up there with chicken wire and chewing gum and, you know, tar and whatever to hold it together for, for 18 mm -hmm. months, it might be Worth it. to our advantage to do that so that we could get 40 percent or so the, from the uh, state. The school, dentist school, Oldenra Hall was done. Do you remember? See, I was still in the fire department. Okay. So that's before 2010. Okay. That was more than eight years back. And cause I, I want to say she said it was about pulled, 12 years ago maybe. Yeah, I, maybe I pulled 15. some details out there. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, so that's kind of where it is. It was, uh, it was after I retired from Verizon while I was still on the fire department. Okay. So that's, uh, you 2003. know, 2003. Around then? That's when I retired from. I took a buyout. 
Okay. So that's yeah. So fifteen years. So that's yeah. about right. right. But I think I think in order to qualify, yeah, for the state. You funds, get it, no, it, need, it might need to be 20 years, yeah. which the original building is, but with the addition or the expansion, yeah. so they made the state, the, the fear is the state may look at the overall building as being 15 years old instead of 20 years old yeah, or yeah, 20 years. whatever it is. Um, so that's still uh, under investigation. But I would I would venture to guess that there was portions of that roof that weren't redone during that order. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, no, I'm sure. And that's probably where they're having the problems right yeah. now. Yes. But... Um, yeah. You know, to be most cost effective, they're going to do the whole thing, thing yeah. over. Mm -hmm. um, that way, they know the age of it right. going forward. Right, exactly. So, um, any questions, comments about any of this stuff that we've gone over so far? No, it's nice to have it. It really does help. It is, yeah. and I'm embarrassed that we didn't do it last year. I wasn't here, so you don't need to be embarrassed. <laughs> well, I'm embarrassed that I have to admit it to you, oh. of all people. You know. So, anyway, so we will endeavor to keep us updated from now on. So the other sheet is just kind of a breakdown as far as the, uh, it, it lists the funding sources, and again, this is where we will need to uh, get Barbara's input, because uh, you can see it's dated, you know, a year and a half ago now, uh, as far as the, uh, these figures. Um, it, so it's got projected revenue figures, um, and they, they try to keep their recommendation is that your your capital improvement uh, fund is no more than five percent of your total. So you can see <coughs> the one year that they did put an increase in was the one year that we were budgeting the um, uh, police station, which is why that was a little bit higher that year. They allowed us to take more money out of the capital fund um, to pay for the police station. To reduce the debt load, but otherwise they try to keep it to five percent. That is their recommendation, which I know Barbara doesn't necessarily agree with. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll have some uh, lively discussion with Barbara when she comes in. Well, we need something to shoot for, I think. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this this yes. this is better than we've ever had. Yeah. I think. Um, you know, and, and like you say, it does give us sort of an outline mm -hmm. moving forward. And, and they did put a lot of time and effort into this and to gather all the information. So, um, and if you look down at the bottom, it, it tells the the story of the uh, the various departments, how much of their requests were, and how much were funded uh, through this plan. The fire department had a, uh, I don't even think it made it on the list, was their uh, new fire station was the, uh, I think, two and a half million dollars that did not get funded. So. Somebody mentioned that to expand the existing one. Well. Was it, was it, was a possibility? If you recall they sold the engine three engine three that was a fiasco from the beginning so that was uh, that was sold as excess equipment yep. to raise money uh, I know they were looking to get 60,000 I don't know exactly what they did get for it but it was to offset some of the improvements in the existing building such as the ventilation system yeah. And, and that uh, so that they could perhaps uh, retrofit the existing building rather than have to go to a totally new building. They had uh, but they're, uh, they had an architect come out and look at it and uh, it's supposedly structurally capable of having a second floor put on and and they're talking about bumping out towards the library. Again, yeah. this is yeah, that's you know, probably old information at this point. No, it was coming as, as of Saturday. Oh, well, okay. but they're under the impression now that they can't go up because they, can't, they didn't have strong enough carrying walls. Well, okay, then that, that's, that's new. That's new from what I was told. The outer walls so. aren't sturdy enough. So, anyway. Not framed in 2x8s, 2x6s. Hmm. So. so, I think before next month, um, 
I need to get with Liz and with Barbara and figure out if these numbers still make sense, if, this, if they look good. Uh, I think Liz, as she meets with the department heads, some of them anyway, that we may not meet with, although it looks like all of these we probably will meet, with the exception of maybe the highway department, but we're certainly going to meet with the fire and school committee. But I think she just needs to have this information in front of her so that as she's meeting with them, she'll verify whether they still are looking for this, this number going forward. And um, getting back to the, the fiscal 20, I, I, we had talked last month or the month before about the uh, town administrator approved line. Yes? Did, yeah, we did talk we did about that. Okay, we did good. talk about that. So if it's okay with you folks, when I, I you know, I'm going to give Liz a copy of our spreadsheet so that as she gets the um, uh, request sheets back, she can go in and update mm -hmm. the sheet. So we will add a column and then we'll hide it or delete it. <laughs> Just go and call Max. Right? <laughs> I felt so stupid. No. No, because I remember doing it too, and I, you know, and, and and I think the the worst part of it is, I think it's the exact problem we had a couple of years ago when Susan couldn't get it to run, and I was able oh. to figure it out. And I think it was, and I think it was a similar problem. We had hidden a column or hidden a line or something, and once I figured that out, it ran perfectly. Yeah. So, um, you know, I just... Well, if you're not doing it right... I don't, I, yeah, I don't work with Excel on a regular no. basis, so it's... Me, me neither. I know enough I, to be... I wrote my own software from scratch. Oh, so, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you want to start again. <laughs> I don't think we can run COBOL on it. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. So, uh, so anyway, so I just... I, I can't remember if we, if we ever decided. I thought we were okay with that, so we will add that in. So in the, the recommended yeah. under the recommended column, there will be you know a requested amount, fiscal 20. Then there will be a recommended amount, which is what we recommend. But somewhere in between, we'll have a a line that says you know town administrator recommends. Hopefully, will always be the same as ours, Hopefully. but I'm sure there, yeah. there may be a couple of differences mm -hmm. um, for whatever reason. Right. So we will do that. I think that's all we had on the agenda. I have the agenda for me. That's all we had. Is there anything else that anyone needs to bring up or run by us? Or? Mm -hmm. We're still down a seat. If anybody knows anybody, no, we haven't had any luck. I, you know, it, uh, again, that's my. We haven't twisted anybody's arm. Well, I, I, I did reach out to Lisa, who said she would fill in if we, if we're desperate. Um, <laughs> uh, I and, and Susan gave me a name of someone who I have not reached out to yet, but I okay. will do that. I promise. By January, to find out yes or no. So hopefully, we'll have a full house next year. Mm -hmm. Next. Next year. Next year, yeah. yeah. Next year. Yeah. Yeah. So, anything else? Okay. Then I will entertain a motion to go home. Move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. See Eesh. you on January whatever Seventh. day it is. Seventh. <laughs>